A community is mourning the death and celebrating the life of Bishop John J. Schneider, who died this morning at the age of 93. Schneider, who retired as the leader of the diocese in St. Augustine after 22 years, as remembered for reaching out to groups that really did not necessarily feel welcomed in the church. Among those honoring him tonight, students and teachers at a high school named after him, and countless others whose lives were impacted by the work of Bishop Schneider. Bishop John Snyder led the Diocese of St. Augustine for more than 20 years, at a time when the number of Catholics more than doubled and required the addition of eight new parishes, seven elementary schools, and two high schools. He's being remembered as the People's Bishop, an approachable man that was interested in the lives of ordinary people. Bishop was always joyful. He really was. He saw the positive side of everything. And I guess the best way to describe him is he really, really reflected the love and the compassion of Jesus to everybody he met. I mean, you found Christ when you were talking with him and engaged with him. Deacon David Yazdia is the principal of Bishop Snyder High School, which is named in his honor. At tonight's football game, a moment of silence for Bishop Snyder. Bishop John J. Snyder, who went home to the Lord at 1 a.m. this morning. Bishop Snyder meant so much to this diocese and especially to all of us here at Snyder. He was truly a servant of Christ who loved everyone he came in contact with. People who knew him say Schneider had a heart for poor and marginalized people, people with disabilities, members of the gay and lesbian community, anyone who was in his presence. He was just one of those people who truly sought to bring God's love to anyone and everyone, and it didn't matter their age, their economic status, Wherever they needed a, a sense of love, he was willing to give it. And he made time for each and every person. And so everyone who ever was touched by him, confirmation, marriage, baptism, whatever, they have a genuinely wonderful memory of a man who touched their hearts and lives. The diocese has released funeral arrangements. The reception of the body will be held next Tuesday at 4 p.m. at the Cathedral Basilica of St. Augustine, followed by Vespers, a sunset evening prayer service that will follow at 7 p.m. And on Wednesday, the funeral mass for Bishop Schneider will take place at 11 a.m. at the Cathedral Basilica, followed by the burial at 2 p.m. at the San Lorenzo Catholic Cemetery in St. Augustine. You know, just talking to some of the people who knew him, I was so impressed at, at the fingerprint, really, that he leaves behind on North Florida. So many people, many of them, some of them right here in the station who are